Hello folks, Mike Kaylee 7 here. Look at these, huh? What do you think of these things? Pretty good, right? Yeah. These are my Dainese gloves. They're the uh, X-Strike Dainese gloves. Get the titanium-y, knuckle-y thing. It's got the easy cinch. It's got this little thingy here. It just keeps your pinky from breaking off. Got that thingy there, so you can slide on the road. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like them. 140 bucks. They seem to fit pretty good. I'm not complaining. All right, let's see. Give you a night vlog. My kitty seven is the night rider. Taking it easy, you know. So what's going on? Let's see. Can I think of a topic? <laughs> I don't have anything. Respect, maybe? I don't know. I was walking through the park today. I went over to this nice park near... Uh, near my house kind of it's kind of like equal distance between my house and school so I left all my stuff at school I went for a walk came back got my stuff and now I'm going home I really need to lose some weight folks your old pal Mike Kaylee 7 is putting on the pounds so, I exercised, I did not eat as much uh, today as I might otherwise have eaten, which is important. I think the temperature right now is probably about 57 degrees or so, I don't know. Yeah, 57 degrees. And it's uh, 727 at night. And I'm riding along with the high beams on. Here we go. In October. And I really kind of have to watch out for the deer. Hopefully I won't get killed. I'm 75% uh, non-squid. 25% squid. So I've got on everything except the riding pants. I just have on simple Levi's 501 jeans. So hopefully nothing bad happens. I mean, you could have all the gear in the world, and if a big enough deer jumps out in front of you, that won't save you no matter what. It's a pretty sky, nice and clear. It was on this road one day. I saw a deer jump from ditch to ditch right across my path. I was in my car that night, coming home at 9.30 at night from a job I used to have. And all I could do was go, whoa, because it just looked so majestic. It was, it had like points and stuff. It must have been like a six-point buck or something. Huge. It was right here. 
Boing! Gotta watch out. Don't want a repeat of 2009. So I got the flu shot. Let's start with that. I get the flu shot every year because I'm an asthmatic. And as such, if I get the flu, it inevitably turns into a chest infection. And then I end up taking antibiotics for bronchitis. Sometimes I end up having to go to the hospital to do the nebulizer treatment just so I can breathe. So I don't mess around. I get the flu shot. When uh, my school says, come and get it for free, you've got the insurance, I go. I could go earlier, but I figure October's not too late. A couple of years ago, I got the uh, what, the pneumonia shot. You get that once every five years. And I don't know if it's I don't know I don't know, but I I don't know if it's connected. But I did get pleurisy not long after. Pleurisy is an infection of the lining. That surrounds your lungs. There's like a clear plastic bag surrounding your lungs. It's not plastic, but you know what I mean. Alrighty. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Alrighty. So yeah, pleurisy, that sucked. And next year, I'll be 50. So then I'll be eligible to get the colon whatever thing check. I don't know if they do Colaguard or if they do the full-on camera up your butt. I don't know. But I know that I have to wait till I'm 50 if insurance is going to cover it. And I'll also try to get the um, anti-shingles vaccine. Since I already had the shingles, I got it... What, a year, two years ago I got the shingles two three years ago I got it real bad and I still kind of have it I mean it never leaves you I have what they call um, post herpatic neurology neur neuro neuropathy post -ner herpatic neuropathy and yeah, that's what it's called not neurology listen to me so I get these itchy bumps across the place that I got my shingles which is across the chest just for no apparent reason, just pop ups once in a while. Suck it, just real. It's like they say when you turn 40, it's like, all right, uh, we're going to start issuing to you these weird diseases that you never thought you'd get. Hopefully, none of them will be fatal. Welcome to your 40s. 50 55 degrees, folks, and I'm out here riding, having a great time. My, my seat is heated, my butt is toasty warm, my grips are heated, they're on a two and they're fine. I've got my vents on my jacket zipped up so I'm not getting the full force of the wind. I'm not even wearing anything extensive, I just have on a t-shirt underneath this jacket of mine. So, there you go folks. I don't know, some people hate the cold, I love riding in the cold. Too bad we don't have the polar bear challenge anymore. Kind of too warm to do it now anyway. I don't uh, usually go home in the darkness, but I got back so late from my walk and of course I had to get all my camera gear out and stuff to put on so I could do this goofy thing. For your viewing pleasure. If anybody's thinking about wearing a climb jacket, the Badlands Pro jacket, or the Dainese X-Strike gloves, I can speak authoritatively on the jacket. Climb does a great job. It's expensive, but I wore this jacket since uh, January in temperatures down in the 20s all the way up to the 90s or almost 100, 
and the jacket's been great. In rain, no problem. It's tough. It's useful. It's got all kinds of pockets and things. It's heavy. It's got the best armor you can get. Probably put about 15,000 miles on this jacket so far. And I'm a happy camper. So I recommend it. The Dainese gloves, which you can't see because, you know, anyway. They are, uh, they're good right now. They feel fine. They're supposed to be, um, you know, the top rated gloves or whatever for touring, whatever thing. They got a little bit of the race technology in them. So, you know, the protection is there, but you can still move your fingers real easy. These will be what I wear until it gets too cold. And then I'll figure something else out. I have the Elsinore 1000 uh, something boots. I can't remember what they're called. If you look on my description, you'll see them. I'm wearing them today. I had them on the trip. They're wonderful. Very comfortable. They've got the protection you want, the toe box, the whole thing, the ankle thing. And the Badlands Pro pants are also super duper awesome. Love them. I have no complaints about them. The Arai helmet that I'm wearing, I've been ha I've been wearing this thing since December. It's awesome. It's the most comfortable helmet I've ever owned. No complaints really about it. I can't see a dang thing. Where's my garage door opener thing? <laughs> I can't see it. Alright, this is Mike Kaylee7. I'll talk to you later.